lungs are the principal organs of respiration situated in the thoracic cavity. Features of left lung. The left lung is longer, narrower than the right lung and it weighs lighter compared to right lung. It has got two lobes divided by the oblique fissure and we will discuss about the oblique fissure in detail later. Presenting parts of left lung. This is the apex. Here you can see the base. There are three borders. This is the anterior border, thin anterior border. And this is the rounded posterior border. This is the inferior border. And two surfaces. This is the sternocostal surface. Sternocostal surface. And this is the medial surface. Sternocostal surface and this is the medial surface. Now coming to the apex. Apex is rounded and it is situated at the root of neck. The summit of the apex is about 3 to 4 cm above the first costal cartilage and 2.5 cm above the medial end of clavicle. The base is concave and it rests on the left dome of diaphragm. Hence, this surface is also known as diaphragmatic surface. Now we can see the borders. So this is the thin anterior border that separates the uh, costal surface from the medial surface. And here you can see the anterior border presents a cardiac notch, a wide cardiac notch which is occupied by the heart and pericardium. Below the cardiac notch there is a tongue shaped projection known as lingula. This is the lingula. And posterior border. Posterior border is thick and rounded. It separates the costal surface from the medial surface. And this is the inferior border. Inferior border separates the costal surface from the base. Now coming to the surfaces. So the costal surface. The costal surface, it is convex and smooth and it is related to the ribs, the thoracic wall. So it has got the impressions of the ribs and the costal cartilages. In the mid axillary line, it is related to upper eight ribs. The medial surface, it has got an anterior part and a posterior part or a mediastinal part and a posterior vertebral part. This is the vertebral part, this is the mediastinal part. The vertebral part, it is related with the bodies and intervertebral disc of upper 10 thoracic vertebra. And the mediastinal part, it presents the hilum and the impressions for the mediastinal structures. And first we can see the structures at the hilum. So this is the anterior side and this is the posterior. So from anterior to posterior or from before backwards, the structures are arranged as from before backwards, pulmonary vein, pulmonary artery and principal bronchus. And from above downwards, structures are arranged as pulmonary artery, the principal bronchus and the pulmonary vein. Now we can see the impressions in the mediastinal part. So this is the impression, cardiac impression. And here you can see the impression for the arch of iota. And here is the impression for the left subclavian artery and this is the impression for the left common carotid artery. And here you can see the impression for the esophagus. And this is the pulmonary ligament. Now we can see how to hold the left lung in anatomical position. The, this is the rounded apex. It should, should be directed upwards. This is the superior side. So it should be directed upwards and this base should be directed downwards. This is the thin anterior margin which should face forwards and this is the rounded posterior border which should face backwards. This is the uh, uh, costal surface which, uh, which should be directed outwards and this is the medial surface and the medial surface should be directed inwards. So this is the anatomical position of left lung. Now we can see the uh, oblique fissure. The oblique fissure begins from the mediastinal surface. This is the medial surface and this oblique fissure begins from the mediastinal surface, uh, passes upwards and backwards, cuts the posterior border and it uh, follows downwards and forwards along the 
costal surface coinciding with the fifth intercostal space in mid axillary line and finally it cuts the inferior border thus uh, the oblique fissure divides the left lung into two lobes so these are the important features of left lung thank you